Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruel Sassy. I have just got back from a great gaming event in London called WAS. I would like to share with you some of my highlights. For those that know, WAS is the spiritual successor of EGX Res, which showcases off indie games to the public and potential investors. There is tons of games to enjoy and even large amount of games enthusiasts, press and publishers to connect and engage with. So, without further ado, here is a small selection from this amazing event, which I hope you all will one day visit. The Holy Gosh Darn This is a narrative adventure with time travelling twist. Time travel to jump between the past and present across heaven, hell, earth and hellheim. Uncover information in one timeline to alter things in another in a bid to stop heaven from going bang. Again. After playing this, the humour, the style and unique time travelling mechanic sells the game in buckets. And being from the same universe as Manuel Samuel and Helheim Hassel, fans of those will enjoy visiting the new game that might even mention the previous titles. It's coming to all major platforms. Crow Country the year is 1990. It's been two years since the mysterious disappearance of Edward Crow and the abrupt closure of his theme park, Crow Country. But your arrival has broken the silence, Myra Forest. If you want answers, you'll have to venture deep into the darkness of Crow Country to find them. A love letter to the PS2 era with strong influences from Final Fantasy and Resident Evil, this survival horror has plenty of puzzles and monsters to keep all happy. Playing this brought back my nostalgia, but with some quality of life improvements like the aiming mechanism for your weapons. It's coming to all major platforms. Children of the Sun on a deadly road trip into darkness, control the path of a single bullet and unleash a fury of vengeance on the sinister cult that ruined your life in this tactical puzzle shooter. A superb, simple but addictive and also challenging game where you control a single bullet with your mind and try and take out all members of a cult in one go guide it through increasingly complex and challenging levels to kill cultists, trigger traps and reshape the environment. Every shot counts and ruthless precision is rewarded. A recommendation from me and one you should try to play as you won't regret it. Out now on Steam. Luna Abyss this is a single player story driven action adventure with fluid platforming and bullet hell combat. Follow the journey of Forks, a prisoner of Luna caught between a cryptic prophecy and their prison sentence. Tasked with recovering forgotten technology from within the abyss and the lost colony it consumed, I made my way through this stunning demo. A visual treat, the demo showcased off only a small portion of the game, but already shows promise of what the player will be expecting. There were strong influences, Doom being one of them, but still hits its own unique style, ensuring this be one to watch. It's coming to all major platforms. Conscript during the First World War, a lone French soldier must navigate twisted trenches, scavenge for limited supplies and solve complex puzzles, all whilst fighting for survival in the midst of mankind's most brutal and horrifying conflict. Conscript is a new take on classic survival horror. Touting various difficulty settings, multiple endings, unlockable costumes and bonus weapons, it was hard not to see why gamers are flocking to the game. The Verper has confirmed his influences as Silent Hill 1-4 and Resident Evil 1-4, so you know this will be a hit for all fans from both franchises. Currently this will only be out on Steam. Nano Apostle this is a dark sci-fi boss rush action game featuring intense reaction based combat and a unique destruction point system. Play as Anita, a child augmented with lethal nanomachines as she battles against twisted cybernet experiments to escape a top tier secret facility. The game lovely pixel art style and smooth powering system was very satisfying. 
even on the demo I played, timing was key to everything, and you could easily lose your life if you didn't study enemies carefully. Currently, this will only be out on Steam with a demo out right now. Last Spartan, Glory Over Madness. In this deck building roguelike, you'll customize and build your own dice set to use in turn based battles as you explore a dark, randomly generated world full of new enemies and encounters on every run. Experience a story driven campaign, fight for your sanity, and defeat Lovecraftian horrors. The game is an ambitious single player strategy game with roguelike deck building gameplay built around custom dice building mechanics. You get to choose your god allegiance and build your dice set to dive into intense turn based battles. Currently this will only be out on Steam. Whisper Mountain Outbreak An isometric co-op PvE multiplayer survival horror game. It's 1998 and an ancient curse has been unleashed, tripping everyone on Mount Biscuit. When a mysterious fog appeared, people started hearing whispers and seeing monsters. Fight, explore, solve puzzles and figure out a way to escape together. Monsters will come in waves and fighting them off using a variety of melee and ranged weapons was fun to engage with. Like its influence, Resident Evil, you can use herbs to recover your health. The game is co-op and you can use the in-game will to communicate with your partner. Currently this will only be out on Steam and has a demo out right now. Starship Troopers Terran Command Urban Onslaught Lead the Mopal Infantry in this RTS game set in Starship Troopers film universe. In this new DLC out soon, a ferocious arachnid onslaught has swept through the city suburbs, completely overwhelming local police forces. Never before have they faced such a massive and meticulously orchestrated assault. The expansion adds 8 new mission story campaigns focused on open maps that offer tactical freedom, 2 new challenge missions, 8 new player units including mechanised missile launchers, hovering autocannons and airborne gunships and also 4 new arachnid unit types. Out June 2024 on Steam. Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip. Terry wants to launch himself into space using his new car. Doing something this cool and reckless will surely make him the talk of the town. Run, drive and glide through this small journey of big discoveries as Terry works towards achieving this goal. This is an open world adventure with a unique art style that taunts as well as entertains. You can explore a densely packed tiny open world town at any pace in any way you like. Slow, fast, by foot, by car, by even paraglider. Currently this will only be out on Steam. The event was fantastic and clearly focused on the more indie centric games that will soon be in your hands. The layout was also changed and this allowed for a more cohesive experience that allowed all to attend to experience the joy of indie gaming to its fullest. Each year this gets better and better and I can't wait for next year's event. Hopefully I may even see you all there as well. Well ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I do hope you like this review and if you do, please like, share and subscribe if you so wish. And if you'd like to put some notes or even just a comment in the comment section, I do like reading them. Anyway, have a great time gaming and I'll see you all again soon.